all right folks what is good today we're going to talk about some cd project red and the new outlook that they have on their new projects coming up in the next few years and uh i think this is very very good to see um good to see a company trying to take on a lot of stuff and trying to make it happen because they got a lot of making up to do don't get it twisted cd project red has done a good job of bringing cyberpunk 2077 back from what it was because it was abysmal when it came out but you know they have more work to do and i want to see what they're going to be capable of going forward uh if this is your first time here welcome this is the vf cast channel over here i talk about gaming hopefully you like this content if so give me a like button and uh we'll just go from there uh i, I don't even know where to start with this because this is a lot you know i, I looked at the long-term product outlook and they have like this new witcher trilogy starting off with the we're going to call it the witcher 4 but the code name is polaris and uh all this other things that they have with the new expansion with cyberpunk and a new cyberpunk game and a new ip so even though they did do a pretty good job of turning cyberpunk 2077 around it's going to be really interesting to see what they do because they got a lot on their plate here and within the next i will say two to five or like two to ten years cd project red is is going to be putting out some stuff hopefully hopefully i'm not saying that they will Hopefully they'll be able to put out some stuff that's really going to be a game changing experience for CD Projekt Red as a company. Because we know what The Witcher 3 was to CD Projekt Red and we saw what happened with Cyberpunk 2077. It seemed like they're on a redemption tour where they want to really show you guys that they're really about what, you know, making these games. Um, I've already, already heard they're doing, um, they're switching over to Unreal Engine 5, which is really good. I'm glad that they're doing that because the, the you know, the red engine was okay and it wasn't bad. But see, it, doing things under Unreal Engine 5 was going to help a lot. So let's go ahead and get into what they're supposed to be doing here. Um, the first game, I'm going to start off with the, the Witcher stuff. And the first game that I want to talk about is the trilogy that they're supposed to be doing one the first game is supposed to be called uh it's codenamed polaris is under pre-production uh and it's going to be a beginning of a new saga and they're going to release two witcher games at the polaris so basically this is going to be the i guess witcher 4 and that's going to be really interesting to see how that comes out because the witcher 3 was really good so coming out with the witcher 4 is going to be you know it's going to be a high standard to top that game which i think they can but they're going to have to do it, you know. Um, the next game is Canis Majoris. I think I said that right. Is a full-fledged Witcher game separate to the new Witcher saga starting with Polaris. Because this is going to come out after Polaris. It's going to be developed in an internal studio headed by experienced developers who have worked on the past Witcher games. Um, you can find all this on their Twitter feed if you want to check all of this out. Um, Cirrus, this, which is the third one, is a, co is a code name for the game developed by Molasses Flood. It's going to be set in the Witcher universe created with support uh, from CD Projekt Red. So this is going to be another company doing this game. And it's basically going to be, uh, it's going to offer a multiplayer gameplay on top of a single player experience, including a campaign with quests and a story. So those are the three Witcher games that you're looking at right there. And that's going to be pretty cool. Uh, I, I think it will because, you know, the Witcher from the witcher 3 it's gonna be really hard to top that with just one game in my opinion and if you want to take it to the next level this is one way to do it i'm not going to say this is the only way this is one way to do it and i'm not sure you know how well or smooth this gonna go because i am a little skeptical about this um before i get into the new ip i want to talk about cyberpunk the, the phantom liberty which you see on the screen right here is uh basically the new ad is going to be the expansion of cyberpunk 2077 i think this is going to be the only one that they have which it was supposed to be more but since everything happened with cyberpunk 2077 a lot of that stuff probably was either scrapped or it was just uh wasn't viable for them to continue with more uh expansion stuff so it's going to be interesting to see what phantom liberty is going to be like but um I, i'm going to be on it because i already downloaded cyberpunk 2077 again i haven't been on it but i will get on it uh orion this is the next cyberpunk game now this is this one thing that's going to be the catalyst of a lot of stuff the uh, whatever they do because you don't want to mess up another cyberpunk game this game i know the witcher is the witcher and i think all three of these games are going to be done pretty well because you know obviously they don't want to mess up again but the turnaround with Cyberpunk 2077 had, you do not want to backslide with this particular game. So Orion is the code name 
and it's gonna it's gonna take the cyberpunk franchise further so it's basically a sequel so i don't have much to say about that the only thing i need to the only thing i feel like about this particular uh game is you just need to do right about by this game the witcher i think that i think the witcher is gonna be okay and beyond i think all three of them is gonna be fine it's the cyberpunk name that needs to be salvaged and i think they've done a pretty good job with 2077 with what they've done lately but you can't you got to come out the gate once again with a strong game even with the witcher stuff but definitely with cyberpunk the last game that they have is a new ip call is a code name uh hadar which is uh, I think I said that right. Hadar is a code name for the third. Uh, it, it's an entire distinct uh, IP created from scratch within CD Projekt Red. The project of the early uh, in the earliest in the earliest stages of creative process, which means we're not developing any game yet, but we're exclusively we're working exclusively on the foundation of this new setting. Uh, okay, so this game here probably won't be out for probably about another seven years. Now I'm gonna be quite honest. This game right with all the other stuff they got they have going on. This game probably won't be out until maybe 2029, 20, 2030. I would be surprised. This this game might not even be on the PlayStation 5 or PlayStation 6. I, 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 it may not be on a PlayStation 5 or the Xbox Series. I'm sorry. It should be on the, place, the next uh, PlayStation or the next Xbox. Because if you got all this other stuff going on, you're basically running one, two, three, four, five five games that you're trying to work on right now plus the dlc and not to tell no telling what all the other dlc that these other games may have that's going to be a lot that they're trying to do this is a very ambitious um project that they're trying to do with all of this uh, combined into one so it's going to be really interesting to see um before i go i want to i want to say this do i think they're going to be able to pull this off i hate to say it but no <laughs> <laughs> I don't I, I I'm gonna be honest I'll be highly surprised if they pull this off with all these games coming out in the fashion and the uh in the sequence that they want to put these out and I, I expect delays I expect some things happening because we, we we've seen this too many times we've seen this happen with just one game you know so now you got all this stuff going on yeah I know you got uh, a lot of uh uh of hand all hands on deck and a lot of hands in the cookie jar trying to get this done but this is a lot um i think in some form of fashion i believe i want to believe all these games will release i'm very skeptical i don't think it will especially with the the what cd project red has done i'm not really sure but i'm going to be here for it you know i'm going to be here watching and see how it goes i expect all of this to be actually completed within the next seven years i don't see any of this being on deck you know anytime soon you know maybe one of the witcher games would be out you know uh you know what i'm saying you know something of that nature the cyberpunk orion to be out within five years i would say and and if all this stuff is working at, together at one time the new IP should be out around 2029. That's just my opinion. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, is this too much for CD Projekt Red? Do you think these guys are going to be in a situation where they are uh, going to be pushing some things back? Do you think the devs going to be up for it? Um, do you think they're going to be, be able to fulfill this task as a company? I don't know, but they got a lot to, to, to work on. I mean, they got some good graces back with the return around of Cyberpunk 2077. But when you're looking at all this other stuff as well, this is going to be a lot. I, I, I'm not really sure. Let me know what you guys think. I'm going to get up out of here. Thank you guys for watching. Uh, you guys take it easy and you guys be blessed. Peace.